Sunland Apple, IPTV Entertainment. Perfected Faces The Best Makeup Artist Candy 242-395-0125. God Restores. I don't know about you, but I love how God is the God of Re. He restores. He refreshes. He renews. He redeems. He rejuvenates. He reunites. He relieves. And then he gives you rest. I love that about God. Can I share a story with you? Jesus is at the Last Supper. He's eating a meal with his disciples. He says, one of you is going to betray me. Peter, in his boldness, proclaims to Jesus, not not I, Jesus. I, I would go to the death for you and Jesus says to Peter, actually, you, you're going to deny that you even ever knew me, not once, but three times. And Eventually in the scriptures, this comes to pass, and Peter denies ever knowing Jesus, and he says that it wasn't until he saw Jesus seeing him do this that he realized what he did, and it says that Peter ran to the outer, outer fields of the city, and he, he cried bitterly. We don't know for how long, but I'm sure it was quite a long time. Peter then we watch him you know leave his position of ministry he feels inadequate he feels ashamed he feels undeserving to even be considered as a disciple of Jesus he goes back to what he's always known and that's fishing Peter and and the boys are fishing and they, they don't catch anything all night in the morning they see this man standing on the shore And he says, have you guys caught anything? And they say, no. He says, throw your nets over. And instantly the nets become filled with with fish. And and, and things begin to connect again. John says to Peter, Peter, "That's, that's Jesus. It says that Peter became so emotional, so flustered that he jumped off the boat into the water and he ran towards Jesus. Eventually, in in the passage, Jesus pulls Peter aside like he always does. And he says, Peter, do you you love me? Peter says, Lord, you know I love you. He says, feed my sheep. A second time, Jesus asks Peter again. He says, Peter, do you you love me? Peter begins to get a little bit more emotional. I'd imagine he wouldn't even be able to look Jesus in the eyes at this point. He says, Jesus, you know all things. And of all things, you know that I love you. He says, protect my sheep. Jesus does it a third time. And I began to think to myself as I was digesting this verse, what Jesus is trying to do is he's trying to break Peter out of this rut, out of this captivity of his own humanity, of his own shame. That he's like, Peter, don't stop ministry don't stop chasing me there are people out there who need you you are enough you are my disciple you are the church i know you've messed up but there's more to your story don't limit yourself because of your mistakes they don't define you and that's my message to you is that sure we've messed up sure we are fallen but we have a cause and a purpose Some of the things that you've lost in your life, God is not going to bring them back in the exact same way. He is going to restore them to you in a greater way than you have ever seen them before. You've been upset with God because you saw it over and over and over again, and it looks like God missed your house. And I hear God saying, I needed you to clean up your house before I could bless your house. Because if I gave it to you right now, you'd have too much pride and ego. But if I gave it to you in the middle of the drought, you would understand that it wasn't you. And it wasn't because everything went so well. It was because the only thing you could rely on is me. Restore means to bring back, to return someone or something to a former condition, place, or position. God wants to restore you. Second Samuel chapter 9, verse 7, this is what the king says, like he says to you, don't be afraid. I intend to show you kindness because of my promise to your father, Jonathan. 
I will give you all the property that once belonged to your grandfather Saul. God can restore the generational blessings that have been lost. And some of y'all are like, the generational blessing? I don't even know my granddaddy. There were things that God wanted to do for your granddad and your grandmother and your great-grandmother that nobody in your family line has stepped up and said, oh, it's me. But God said one moment of getting in the right position with me, I won't just give you what you deserve. I'll go back and give you the favor that was on your grandmama and your granddaddy. Yeah. Yeah. To be, I feel this thing, takes crazy faith to be fractured like this, forgotten and still be faithful. I want to commend every person who has served God faithfully through your fractures. You have had the Joseph spirit. Oh, I feel this thing. That you showed up and helped and saved others and served others and prayed for others and stood for others and were an intercessor and you held other people's kids and you did the things that it was hard for you to even get out of the bed to do and you did it fractured faithful anyway God told me to stop this entire series and tell you that there is about to be uh, y'all better hear me I'm prophesying to somebody right now and I don't know who has the ability to receive it but if you do lift your hands right now there is a repayment coming for every this I can't do it nobody on earth can do it God saw every tear he saw every bit of pain. He saw everything you gave up. He saw the, the, the moments that you stayed diligent and faithful. And God says, I'm about to, this is the word he gave me, restore. I'm about to, everybody shout at me, restore. Some of y'all lost your childhood because somebody took it away from you illegitimately. God's about to restore your childhood. You're about to have fun in the next 20 years of your life like you've never had before. Somebody is, somebody's receiving it. You're going to get joy out of things that you never thought you was going to get joy out. God is going to, everybody shout at me, restore. restore. I don't go to bed and worry about what I don't have. I go to bed knowing he's going to avenge me. He's going to restore me. He's going to come through for me because this is who he is. And our fundamental problem in life is a misunderstanding of who God is. Our fundamental problem in any area of our life is our wrong concept of God, because once you really understand what he really is like, you'll never worry another day in your life. He'll make all things beautiful in his time so I can relax and trust. He will avenge me so I can relax and trust. He will restore the years so I can relax and trust. And he will bring me the harvest so I can relax and trust. The Lord says, I will give you back what you lost to the swarming locust, the hopping locust, the stripping locust, and the cutting locust. The promise that God would restore to his people all that the locusts had taken refers to the land and food. But God can restore to us what the ravages of sin and circumstances have taken. When you become a Christian, your past is forgiven, and together with Jesus, you begin writing new chapters in your life story. God can overcome the pain and loss of divorce financial misfortune, addiction, and bad choices. He desires to heal and restore you today. He can give back the joy of those years you have lost. If God be for you, who can be against you? Hey family, I quickly want to share the law of restoration. The law of restoration says that uh, if anybody has stolen anything from you, it's found in Deuteronomy, and it says if anybody has stolen anything from you, let them replace it to its full value 
and add 20 percent so if i steal a hundred rand from you i need to replace the hundred rand and a 20 rand why because it's the full value 100 percent plus an added 20 percent the beautiful thing it makes those who have lost something uh, it makes them gainers it makes them beneficiaries of something greater for example whatever you have lost in your life if god restores it it has to be greater than what it was before it was stolen or before it was taken away so i want to tell somebody whatever you have lost in your life when god restores it it's going to be greater if you have lost a relationship when god restores it it's going to be greater when if you have lost a business when god restores it it is going to be greater whatever you have lost if you have lost a relationship finances whatever you have lost if you've lost your dignity whatever you lost when God restores it it is going to be greater let me show you this scripture says that before Adam and Eve falls we had life so we fall when Christ restores it it has to be greater so when so when Christ restores it we now have life but life in abundance, it has to be more. It can't just be life, it has to be more. God is about to restore you and it's going to be greater than what it was in the past. I love you. You have been through so much that in order to put you back on track, I need to restore your soul. I'm going to restore you. I'm going to bring you back to who you were meant to be before you went through everything you went through. I'm gonna restore you. I'm gonna fix you so you don't look like you've been through what you've been through. I'm gonna restore you. I'm gonna restore you until you pass through the fire but you don't smell like smoke. I'm gonna restore you till nobody would believe that you've been through what you've been through. I declare restoration in this house. God said I will restore unto you even the years that the canker worm and the palmer worm and the locust say no. I'm gonna restore all the years you lost being frustrated and upset and angry. God said your latter day shall be greater than your former day. Who am I pre- Make up artist candy. Spontaneity is magic. Imperfection is beauty. Flaws are underrated. Beauty is so subjective. The most beautiful things in life are simple yet wholesome. The idea of beauty, I believe, got eroded gradually. Thanks to media and pop culture, what was once beautiful is now called shabby minus. Unkempt hair. Freckled face. Fat thighs. Hairy legs and armpits. Stretch marks and cellulite. When the models on the billboards and magazines are just like you and I. Behind those numerous filters we deem to be perfect. Perfected faces make up artist candy come see. Well, I haven't seen you in a while, yeah, yeah, I miss the sight of your, your beautiful smile, I miss the feeling of your skin touching mine, I can't wait, till Friday night I'll be Going to your place, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see your beautiful face. 